Hello everybody, Lucy Coleman here and welcome back to my channel. And in this opportunity, uh, I wanted to add something about a video that I made um, uh, last week about me getting my driving license in Saudi Arabia. As you all know, um, I lived in Saudi Arabia for two years and we just moved back and it was a really, really good experience. In my last video, I told you about how it was for me, a woman after 40, <laughs> to move to Saudi and what was me, my experience uh, with that, you know, with that change. It was, yeah, a huge change, but something that I really loved about being there, it was getting my driving license oh my god i got my driving license in saudi arabia and i was so pleased because i wasn't expecting that something like that or a change like that was going to happen when i while i was there i knew there were some news about it but i wasn't you know because i knew i was going to be there a short time it was just going to be two or three years maximum i didn't know the law was really going to be so quick in doing that and implementing it and when i got there a few months later they just decided to give driving license to ladies uh to drive everywhere in Saudi, and i got it <laughs> So I went through the test and I did everything I needed to do. You have to do the driving test. And it was so good because it was so rewarding to know that it, it was such an historical moment in life and especially in life of a woman. Because women, we were not uh, allowed to do any driving in Saudi. I could drive inside the complex where I was living because that complex is very Western and uh, not many of the Saudi laws are applied there. Um, also, I didn't need to wear the abaya over there. I had to do it while I was going outside of the complex. But I was so pleased to know that I was allowed to drive outside the complex. I couldn't do it before. I had to wait for my husband to drive me. Uh, and also on the weekends, it felt a bit uh, like you are completely <laughs> attached to your husband and you can't do anything by yourself. But I was able to do it. Uh, driving in Saudi is, um, uh, it depends on when you, where you are. Uh, Saudi is like, to drive very fast. They like to do it. Um, people were asking me, how was it like to drive in Jeddah? Jeddah is a city that it has so many people and most people like to have sport cars and big cars. Uh, I had a small car <laughs> and I was going out there driving. <laughs> yeah, it is challenging because you can be on the fast lane and you see like there is a small gap between the lane and the division and somehow magically a car appears and opens a new lane. <laughs> it's like an extra fast lane they just go you know like crazy sometimes they were just driving everywhere and they were driving so fast even though there are speed cameras there are speed cameras in so many places but people what they do they buy these devices that they know they let them know ahead of time where is the camera and they tend to slow down and when they pass the camera they go fast again and some other people they just kept going fast because in Saudi you can have as many fines as you want you know is they don't have a maximum of fines that you have and it, they just pay the fines the fines are not cheap maybe a hundred dollars or 50 or almost a hundred dollars the fine something like that I don't really remember because I remember once that we had four fines the same day it was a it was a mistake and it wasn't my fault. I wasn't the one driving. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who was driving, but it wasn't me. Uh, and yeah, we had that and yeah, uh, driving as a lady, you're gonna find that um, it is the same as driving in any other country or any other big city if you're gonna drive in Jeddah. If you drive in a town, it's fine, it's gonna be easy. But if you go to Jeddah or Jirijat, which are huge cities, 
you're gonna find it a bit challenging. I recommend you, if you're a lady and you haven't driven before in a big city, to test a lot of your patience and courage to drive uh, in a town first. And once you're prepared, go to a big city like Jeddah or Riyadh and drive because it's, it can be challenging. I found it challenging and I'm used to drive everywhere in the world. And even though I did it, wow, I, I still find it challenging. For me, the most challenging place to drive was in Mumbai in India. And now I think Jeddah is one of the, is in my top five, <laughs> yeah. Well, it was a uh, very interesting experience and I tell you that getting the driving license is a huge um, uh, advance for women over there. I just wanted to share that with you right now and hope you have a great day. So see you soon. Bye bye.